Hello everyone, I'm Jeff from Wong DIY. In today's video, I want to make a comparison between two sliding compound miter saw from Evolution Power Tools. And these two are my favorite so far, but I really like to try some metal cutoff or at least try the blue and green cutting blade for metals. And this one is R210 SMS Plus. You can check the complete unboxing and review video at link that I put in the left corner of this video. The other one is Rage 3DB, the bigger and more complete version of these two. This Rage 3DB has 255 millimeters or 10 inches blade size with 2000 watt of motor with no load speed of 2500 rpm and this db uh, stands for double bevel the the rage 3 db is built to tackle some big jobs using the power and large blade to cut some pretty serious piece of material and at zero degree the maximum cut size is 80 millimeters or 3.1 inches by 320 millimeters or 12.5 inches apart from very large timber this model should cut through the timbers you need with no problem at all on the other side the R210 has 210 millimeters or 8 inches blade with 100 with 1500 watt motor both of these using the same dust pot size of 36 millimeters and 2 meters of cord length for the price range, this is an incredible piece of kit with double bevel sliding miter saw. So it is a very good price for the 3DB since it has a double bevel double bevel compound. Compared to if if you want to compare to the other brand like Dewalt and Makita, it will it will be it won't be the same range price range with this uh, 3DB. The the next issue that is the arbor size is a non-standard imperial 1 inches or 25.4 millimeters as opposed to the much more, much more common 30 millimeters arbor you see on, on most machines distributed for Indonesia or Asia. So I had to use an arbor reduction ring which is annoying at best. Um, the safety lock mechanism in 210 using a pedal for your thumb to open the blade and then you can continue to cut you can pull it down and then or slide it if, if, if you don't if you don't push it the pedal you cannot you cannot do the you cannot you cannot pull the trigger you cannot you cannot move it at all and then the safety lock mechanism in 3db is kind of different compared to, to 10 because it's, it's using the little finger to operate and place right under the trigger The spring mechanism for cutting is using a horizontal spring coil placed under the yarn for both of these miter saw. The other feature in these two, they have a laser cutting guide. And this is a nice touch that you won't, you won't find on the other budget models. This helps to get your cut and get, get absolute accuracy. If the light is dim or there's a lot of sawdust around it, it will allow you to easily follow the cutting line to cut. So it is a good feature, but most of the time you have to make sure that the uh, laser is aligned perfectly to, to your material. The R210 maximum crosscut capacity is 230 millimeters by 65 millimeter. Maximum miter cut 150 millimeters by 65 millimeters. Maximum bevel cut 230 millimeters by 38 millimeters. 
maximum compound cut 150 by 38 millimeters. To operate the miter cut, you will have to loosen the lock first and then you can slide following the display on the base and it has uh, snaps in some numbers of cutting degree and they have a very clear display. It can snap at 0, 15, 22 and a half, 30 and 45 degrees and it is much, it's pretty much the same with DB3 but you have to understand that in DB3 as, as you start to move away from 0 degrees the cut capacity gets a bit smaller down to 40 millimeters or 1.5 inches by 225 millimeters or 8.5 inches now without further ado let's start to cut some woods and aluminum Jadi jalan keluarnya adalah nyamping Seperti ini Baru saya kunci Ukuran fence ya, Kurang maju hasil potong untuk metal ini lebih bagus tapi kalau buat potong pakai kayu dia jadi lebih kasar now here is how the laser cutting guide looks outdoor and Mati. under the sunlight okay. there is some difference for the design of the motor for these two the R2 the R210 motors transfer its cutting powers from a shaft directly to the blade and 3db using belt to transfer its power to the blade R210 it feels like a little bit rough but the speed is faster than the uh, 3db and the 3db feels like a delay on the start so it feels like a, a soft start which is good for me and it has like a it, they, they, they also has like a brake electric brake on that and from what you can see these two has been in operation for about four years of just hobby use and they still perform so good for me but there is some pro and cons to it let's start with 3db the 3db uh, good points it's incredibly good price for a double bevel sliding compound miter saw decently powerful motor comes with a versatile blade that can cut metal and wood good bevel accuracy both ways left and right since but the bad points is um, struggle with miter or fence accuracy especially on long cuts low blade rpm uh, only use evolution blades dust collection is hopeless for 4210 the pros is easy setup process uh, i think it's a great value for money versatile wide range of use the uh, cons it takes a while to assemble and then yeah for me it takes time you can watch for for the video or the unboxing and like 
I think it should be enough and you can subscribe to my channel leave a comment on, on every question you have um, maybe you can support me a little bit and then uh, and I wish that this channel will help you as for always for everything you do just do it see ya